So you might be trying to figure out how you can set up your replacement AirPod, either it's a you know specific AirPod or an AirPod charging case, to your new iPhone. So this is very, very common. Basically, if you left one AirPod back you know, somewhere else and you try to reconnect it, that's not always going to work out exactly how you think. Or if you've got a new charging case, to repair it and resync it, we can actually take a look at Apple's own basically setting up and you know resetting up your specific replacement charging case, a little wiki that they have. So in order to do this, what you want to do first of all is you want to go ahead and make sure both your AirPods and the charging case are together. So make sure they are put up together and you can just close the case for now. Now what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your iPhone and all you want to do is make your way over to your Bluetooth connection settings. So click on Bluetooth, you want to find your AirPods. So in this case, I don't even know which AirPods these were, maybe there's these ones. And all you want to do is forget this device. So click on forget and you basically want to remove this device from your specific you know, AirPod. So you, I'm gonna just going to do it on both because I don't know which one it was. So what you want to do is just forget those AirPods and then you'll come into this panel. Now what you want to do is you want to go and make your way over to the back of your AirPod and you want to go ahead and lift open the case and you want to hold this back button basically right here. Now sometimes you may not have to do it, especially if you already have your AirPods kind of already pre-connected or if you're using an Android phone, make sure you hold that back button down. And then what you want to do is you want to go and click connect. So now it's going to tell you to hold it down anyway. So hold down that back button that I showed you, and then you will basically be able to see this specific panel. Now you are almost done. Just go and set up this as you normally would. You can just set up exactly whatever you want to do, and that is it. Your replacement AirPod or your replacement case should now be connected, and you should be good to go for the most part. So if you're running into issues, you can contact Apple, or you can just update your iPhone if there's an update available, and that may end up fixing the problem too. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.